close to the mountains again. We ought to be getting close. Yeah. Well, I just saw some crop circles earlier. Looked like Donnie made them. Donnie done it. Yeah. turning. at the Eastern Museum of Auto Racing here with the club this morning. I'll show you around a little bit in there. <laughs> uh, Jim had to cut his belt off because it's about fifth air conditioning compressor decided it wanted to lock up. So, here we is. This is a Willys 4. This is a Van Blurt. This has this Alto outboard in it. Right here is the outboard. That's what's in it. This was 1941 3A championship car. So they really did go. They were two stroke, turn a lot of RPM, smoked like a diesel. But they, they went real good. Uh, that's what you said in about 68. The racetrack is, um, if you go down this side of the and then turn right, right down the valley here. We've been out the whole thing for you to see. So we can take our cars out there? <laughs> if you want to go out in this crap, we can go out there. Uh, we got put away on its one last race. So there's nothing new or neat about it. That's exactly the way it got put away. Some of our neatest stuff is the old original stuff. We have some stuff that's restored. To tell you the truth, if I wish every car in here was old and rhythm, <coughs> but some of these cars survived a long time. Now back here, this is the Tommy Hendershitz garage. Tommy Hendershitz was uh, seven-time Eastern champion. This, there's a picture right up there of the garage in 1955. And if you turn around and look here, we went actually in 89 we went down and he never threw anything away thank god so we pulled all the equipment out of the garage and brought it up here we put new in for him these are 50 75 bucks so wow. guess what you can have a lot of engines. so they flip them over put board carburetors on and that's what's in this right here it's a ranger aircraft engine but they were very popular uh, especially in csra and imca it looks heavy it only weighs 375 pounds, all magnesium except the barrels, and it's air cooled. Okay, so uh, it looks heavy, but it's not. Hmm. Wow. Now behind me is uh, this is a miniature of Williams Grove. There's a picture here that shows the opening day of Williams Grove, May 21st, 1939. That's the original billboard from Williams Grove that was right up the road. And I can tell you this is correct, because as a young boy, I worked in a refreshment stand over there in the 50s, so. It is correct. Well, I had fun.
I got paid. Don't stop the billboard, dude. Okay, with both feet. Now, 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 now put both there feet down go. if you go in, okay? Oh, uh, I don't know if you're gonna get the knees. By golly, there you go. He ready to go. Yeah. Oh, hey, you ready to fire it up? Yeah. yeah, yeah it's okay. Okay. It's a lot louder. That's yeah. why I can't hear. <laughs> yep. Getting this on film. Don't spill your milkshake out all over the waitress this time, Randy. You can do it, Randy. That's it. You're staying there now. <laughs> Look at Joe. We got Joe. We got, we got Joe tripping back here. Hey, there's a chain right there, Joe. You want to do a little twerking for us again? <laughs> He's in. There you go. <laughs> Grease cut. Show you how close the stomach is. <laughs> oh gosh. Give him a video now. You can do it. Uh oh. The steering wheel's bending really bad, Randy. <laughs> Cheer for him, Joe. <laughs> right. Okay. He built 15 million of them from 1908 to 1927. Yes, and that was the starter. There's old Henry. And then that was 20 horsepower back in the day, and there's 900 horsepower Chevrolet today. So you're looking at 100 years of racing right here. Wow. All right. And then you look down this way, you've got two Model T's, actually three Model T's. See that front neck mm -hmm. right here, dual or NTM Model T? There's your bubble top. You know who front neck yeah. was? Bubble top, yeah. It was so the Chevrolet the Brothers. Houston they had Black. already lost their name mm -hmm. to like General Black. Motors and Durant. They went building speed equipment. The best speed equipment in the late 20s for a Ford was built to the Chevrolet yeah. Brothers. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> wow. I'm just telling you. <laughs> That works both yeah, ways. Yeah, they're terrible. Okay. right there. Mm -hmm. Chevrolet well, how, Brothers. How many of you heard of, of uh, Duntalk? Yeah. Lars off Duntalk. Yeah, right. Father of the Corvette, yeah. the Corvette cams and stuff. Right. Well, did you know who he worked for first? Mm -mm. Ford. Ford. Here. Here. If you get a chance. That's the old, yeah. There's a flathead Ford. Ford. Mm -hmm. Okay. With an R done. <laughs> Look at, it. Look at that flathead. Wow. Arzal was Arzal Duncan. He mm -hmm. did this in 1947 to, to Ford uh, to improve the performance of a flathead for his Wow. Uh -huh. He didn't buy it, so they went after market. But this was his first deal. He did this in New York. Then he went to work for General Motors. I spent a week with wild. him. That's pretty wild. And uh, he, what a man. He a tremendous guy. But uh, that's, uh, that's a unique story right there. Yeah, sure Now, are the cars you guys are tanks. sitting in over there, here are the two motors. Here's the patches. This is the ZL1 that I ran in that. We were real wow. successful with this motor. And then, oh, you get actually, uh, Boy, a lot of history right here, ain't it? Right. And the only difference is the part numbers are the right same. Here. The only difference is Yanko would say Yanko in the front. That's that's a tough block to get. I bet it is. And that's the ZO. And then he got killed, of course, in 83 in a plane crash. So that it's ended up with our association. Yeah, see here. But we went well with this Yeah. That's wild. Of course, the first, uh, well, not the first V8, but the first one that counts, the 55 Chevy. This was a racing motor, very early injectors and stuff. Little uh, Oles and... Uh, that's the motor change, the motor world right there. I mean, that little motor right there. You're right. You're right. And here's... Here's uh, 70 years of it, but yeah. that was the start of what's, what's happening. A little Chevy too. Yeah. Here's, uh, this is the motor out of the Gerber over there, the little bobtail. Yep. Uh -huh. That's the four-cylinder <coughs> Chevy that he cast that single mm -hmm. cam. Yep. So it's crude, yep. but it's very effective. Huh. <laughs> And then There's a, a lot of history. Huh? And then he went to a, uh, a comet, I guess it was, uh, 
but uh, they could have easily erased it another year because all you had to do was change the front end. That's what Bruce Larson did. Um, <laughs> we can't get the truth. The mayor's still alive, and we can't get the true story out of it, out of him, but he denies it. But the rumor is when they built the car, they needed a, a buck, you know, to make the bolt. So they went and rented a new car, <laughs> made the buck, made the fiber nest, and for a week or two, when they got done with it, it turned it back. <laughs> they didn't deny that, but it has to be the true story because where else would they get with a brand new model? Where else yeah. are they going to get a car at, you know? But, uh, all right, so I just wanted to give you a little briefing here of what you've been looking at. This is the Easter Museum of Auto Racing here in uh, about 30 minutes down south of Carlisle, uh, kind of off to the uh, to the east. But um, this is a very, very neat place, and uh, I urge you, if you're in the area, to check this place out when they're open. We got kind of a special tour being with the first generation Monte Carlo Club, but... Uh, this is day two of the uh, 2022 first generation Monte Carlo Club Eastern meet. And uh, so anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video so far. I'll probably break this down maybe into its own video because it's, it's going to be pretty big. So, uh, but we'll, uh, we'll keep you updated as uh, more videos to come from this Eastern meet. And I uh, hope you keep following me along. I need Joe to get up there on the stage and twerk. <laughs> He's done gone back, I think. No, he's outside. <laughs> That's Joe back there, Joe. Yeah, freaking Joe. I can't with him right now. He said he was he was hungry to see me for a whole year. <laughs> Made a stop at Baker's Diner here with all the group. Yeah. That's a real SS, yeah. Where's the money in it? Oh, yeah. Reminds me of the one Gary used to have all that time ago. Yeah. Sammy's is just like the one Gary had all them years ago, Donnie. Yeah, but it ain't red. No, the white SS oh, the white he had. SS, yeah. yeah. Uh, Halo car. Old house right there on the river. I know it.